I had a happy childhood, normal childhood. We had I had a, two brother, two sister. My mother was teaching. My father was a very avant-garde kind of guy. He was involved in politics in the Quebec UPA, l'Union des producteurs agricoles. So he was interested for the, the, the goodness of people working the land. And he was also very progressive in the way that he was using technology. So was my mother in education. So I come from a background that we were on the farm, but my father was very proud of what he was doing. So I think for me, my father has been a huge mentor still now. My brother and I, we always followed him everywhere he was going, right? The little boys and Laurent, my dad, we were always behind. So I spent all my life as a kid following my father. So the notion of play does not really exist other than working indirectly. Right, for example, at the Sugar Shack, we had an amazing land, but everything was going quickly under, under the story. So my brother and I would go spend days cutting the twigs of the, 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 the sapling underneath, right? We could spend the whole day. We love doing this. But is that play or is that working? And I also remember vividly when we were harvesting hay because the farm was located in the front of a major regional road. And in the summertime in July, you all see the urban people with a trailer, with the car, and the kids in the back going away. I thought I would never do that, unfortunately. And I was very envious of those children being able to go away. So for me, the trailer has a huge impact in my life of getting out of the farm. But I never did it until my father passed away when I was 17. And I remember at the age of 16, I received a chainsaw for my birthday. A chainsaw because we had a sugar shack in a very small town called Princeville, in a rural world, in a very, in a dairy area. We were heating the house with wood. So, it was a kind of a natural thing because you received gift that was almost tools to anything. That's how I grew up on a farm because, and that's a little bit my image of, the, of me when I was young. Nature was never something that I love. Nature was some, it was a resource that we're making a living of. So I was very, with that, I was looking at trees in a way that where, if we, we had to cut it, where do you direct it on the ground? So my idea of landscape <laughs> has completely evolved, but it was very pragmatic of feeding the world.